Hey, thanks for checking out the video. This is a part two or follow-up video about the old version of the OLI 3T versus the newer iterations that have come out since. Uh, basically, if you're not familiar, these are great AAA flashlights from Olight. Very durable, solid flashlights. And a lot of people like to pop in a different type of battery than a AAA battery called a 10440. It's a lithium rechargeable cell with a voltage of over double that of a standard alkaline AAA. The reason why people like to do this is because you get a crazy boost in performance uh, output wise, a very bright light from a tiny little flashlight. And that's why I personally like to do this. Uh, it is not recommended by Olight or by me per se, just because a lot of heat is generated um, uh, when these batteries are used in the i3T. And um, uh, the longevity of using this battery may also uh, affect the internals, uh, the LED and, and such. So uh, yeah, not recommended, but I personally do it because I like the size to performance ratio uh, you get with this. Now, um, if you missed uh, my previous video about these two different uh, iterations of i3T um, and Max Level EDC and some other channels have, have uh, noticed that when it comes to using 10440s in the i3T, the older version and the newer version handle them differently. So this is gonna be a follow-up video about that. And I'm hoping to answer some questions that have come up from the community about these two different iterations of light and uh, why this change was made by Olight if it was intentional. Um, and that's something we don't know. There's still a lot of questions uh, <laughs> we may never get answers to, like did Olight do this on purpose to cap the max output and therefore cap the heat generated to uh, protect users uh, safety wise or was this just a change in components that resulted in this unintentionally um, that i don't know um, but i wanted to do a runtime test because that was one of the questions that come up a lot in the comments uh, do you get improved run times because the output is dropped this light and um, a spoiler alert yes you do and i'll show you a time lapse here in just a second of these two lights, both using PK cell 10440s on their high setting, and we'll see which one lasts longer and by how much longer. So let's check that out right here. All right, so as you saw, uh, right around the 20 minute mark is what you get um, using the 10440, uh, 3.7 volt 10440 in the older i3T. Um, that's typical of what I've uh, seen in past tests as well. And 20 minutes is really good in my opinion uh, on high for a 3.7 volt battery because that's very similar to the, um, the runtime of the OLED i3T using a standard AAA as well. That's pretty cool, but um, the newer i3T did better. You get about an extra 10 minutes, which is cool. Now that does come at the expense of some output, as I mentioned before. And if you want to see what that looks like practically, the difference in output, um, I'll refer you to my previous video uh, about this donut i3T um, and, the, and the old one as well. I'll link that video at the end of this one if you missed that one. But uh, yeah, you know, you sacrifice some output for some runtime. That's kind of, we, unfortunately, we can't have our cake and eat it too. We got to decide uh, output of runtime um, when it comes to our decision and choosing these flashlights. Um, and it's not just this donut, by the way, that uh, has a decrease in output. People have been noticing that the newer i3Ts in different colorations are also um, a bit um, throttled or whatever you want to call it um, compared to the old ones. Uh, another thing to consider is heat, right? So with the crazy intense high lumen output that you get with a 3.7 volt battery in the older versions that does come at the expense of uh it, you know excess heat is generated um so the outer body of this light really starts to get warm and even hot in past tests at about room temperature of 70 degrees fahrenheit i was getting temperatures in the low 120 degrees fahrenheit range so definitely want to be careful um you know don't want to run this for prolonged periods of time 
uh, or have it near skin or combustible objects, but that was the temperature of the outer body on the aluminum version. And I was not able to take the temperature of the lens reliably. My, uh, my heat thermometer wasn't uh, registering on that too, too well. So that's going to be hot too. You just want to be mindful of that. Um, you know, I've been doing this a, a while myself and haven't had too much of an issue. Um, thank goodness I haven't had any uh, mishaps with that. But uh, I can understand why Olight might want to, you know, they're probably well aware that people do this 10440 thing with their light. So maybe that's why they did um, kind of make it so that there's the, the, the high range is a bit capped off with this new one. So uh, 100 less lumens or so. Uh, with the newer versions, but the heat is a bit more manageable. So um, I got at about the same room temperature in the low 70s, about 70, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. I was getting temperatures in the low to mid uh, 100 range of degrees Fahrenheit. So about 100 degrees Fahrenheit to about 105. Um, but that's with my light and my battery. Um, your mileage may vary. You still want to be careful, obviously. But uh, my point is that these newer versions are a bit safer when it comes to heat. So if that's what Olight was trying to do, they, they accomplished it with this newer um, iteration of the i3T. So wanted to make that note. Uh, and then, so you, you might be wondering <laughs> if it, basically, do I still prefer the old version over the new version? As I said, I did in my first video. The answer is yes. And I'll explain why. I still like the older version of the i3T over the new one. Now, the, now the new one is good for for uh, what we've already been over, right? Run times and heat are very improved, um, just at the expense of output, right? Um, the reason why I like the old one still is that the options are more options are in the hands of the user still with this old one. So with this newer version, I cannot get up into that 550 to 600 lumen output range no matter what I try, just can't do it. And depending on who you are, that might be A-OK -okay with you. Uh, and you know what I mean? Like <clears throat> for me, it's fun and it's kind of what, what got me into making videos in the first place. My very first videos on YouTube were about this light with 10440s. I, I have an affinity for it, so I don't want to see that change. With that said, these days I am not using 3.7 volt batteries in my i3T. I am using 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate cells. <laughs> I'm looking around for one. I'm going to steal it out of this Roe Vivon Angel Eyes E8. Cool keychain flashlight. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's this battery right here. So this thing is, like I said, 3.2 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry, so not lithium ion. And uh, because the voltage is lower, you, the user, can kind of cap the output yourself by just deciding which power source you're using in the light. Um, whereas this, with this one, Olight did it for you. And that might not bother you, like, like I said. Um, but for me, I just like to have options um, as a consumer myself. So yeah, this is the cell I've been using lately um, myself. And I will show you the output using this 3.2 volt battery in this light is very similar to the output you get from this. So you do drop about, I don't know if it's, I don't have a lumen tube, so I can't tell exactly, but you do um, kind of cap the output and therefore the heat as well. So I'll show you that footage uh, outside just so you can see the beam shot comparison. All right, I did want to show the difference uh, between these two i3Ts um, with the SoShine cell inside. Um, this is the low mode on each. So um, as you can see, the low mode of the donut i3t is quite a bit lower than the low mode of the uh, the older version i3t's and that can be a good thing as someone pointed out in the comments in my last video you might want a lower low and i can definitely see a case for that so it might be something you look for and when you jump these on to high the output is very close I don't have a lumen tube to be able to tell, but I'll switch their spots. So now the donut's on the right. Very similar. All right, so uh, two main takeaways from that are that uh, you can approach the exact same output 
uh, of the new i3T with the old ones just by changing the power supply if you want to. Uh, second takeaway is that the low mode on the new i3Ts is lower than the low mode on the older ones. And that could be a good thing, as I said, um, because uh, a lower low means you're going to stretch out runtime. I can only imagine. I haven't tested that yet. But if you want the option for a lower low and then, you know, a pretty decent high mode with that 10440, um, good option with the new i3T. So in the end, uh, I mainly just want you all, uh, my viewers, to know the differences between the new and old i3T. That way you can decide which one to go for yourself. I can see a good case made for either. Um, personally, as I said before, I, I'm still kind of leaning toward the older version myself. But you know what I mean? I'm not as uh, allergic to the new ones as I was in my first video. Um, yeah, really, uh, I'm glad that as a community, um, there's been a lot of good videos made about this, starting with Max Level EDC. He was the first video about the difference uh, between the old and the new models that I saw. So uh, I want to give credit to that channel. And um, I also wanted to give credit to some other Chrome's channel too, because uh, he uses LumenTube to get us exact figures, which is really helpful. In conclusion, there's still a lot of unanswered questions when it comes to the difference in the older iteration and newer iteration of the OLED i3T. Uh, was this change intentional on OLED's part or was it just the use of different parts? Um, you know, if it was intentional, why hasn't this sort of thing been done to the i5 series yet? Because people use 14500s in these and there is no difference um, in output or no regulation on the i5Ts and these lights actually get quite a bit hotter than the i3Ts do. So yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, let me know what you think though. Uh, which, which version of the Olight i3T do you prefer? The newer version or the older version? Obviously there's a really sweet styles available with this light in both the new and the old version. So that's cool. But as far as uh, if you use 10440s in these lights, uh, which one would you prefer? Do you like the low, low? mode that the new version offers you and then that capped high or do you like the uh, full blast mac to the max output with the old version and the ability to kind of choose your output via power supply um, with the old version uh what do you think i mean i think this is a great flashlight still my favorite model of olight um people are surprised every time i say that i think but it's true i really like this light i like how small it is um and it just works for me uh, on the day to day. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye. All right. This is a very first ever post credit scene. Just wanted to show something cool. I found out on accident with this new donut I3T under black light. These sprinkles really pop. It's pretty sweet. The red ones and the yellow ones. Pretty cool effect if you ask me. But that's it.